Hi Capricorn. This is your love and romance general tarot reading. I have shuffled and we're ready to get started. Okay Capricorn, this first card here is going to represent your expectations, hopes, and fears for love. The second card is going to represent the obstacle or the challenge to overcome. And the third card is going to represent the realization or the outcome. Okay, Capricorn. So for your expectations, hopes, fears. So we have the beautiful nine of pentacles. I love this. Um, as you can see, you have this beautiful maiden here and she is gazing out the window. There are nine pentacles, which is a strong earth sign, which I feel like is your energy. Uh, Capricorn, but it could be a Taurus or a Virgo. And this is you focusing on what you have accomplished in your life thus far. This is you, you know, I feel a sense of pride because you have purple, which is kind of like the feeling of royalty or dignity, where you're looking out at what you have accomplished. And so this could obviously be the material world, the material realm, and it's also in relationships. Um, and I know that you have worked hard in your relationships and you're willing to work hard. You're willing to put forth the effort and you know that that hard work is going to breed success. So this is like a card acknowledging that regardless if you're in a relationship or you are dating, you are willing to put forth the work. And some of you actually have produced some very nice results for yourself. And I feel that you're kind of stepping back, pausing, reflecting, um, clarifying, you know, she's, she's holding a cup of tea. So she's able to kind of enjoy the fruits of her labors. This is also, I feel like you maybe finally feel Capricorn that things are going to be better than you had even hoped for in relationships. And I also feel that you're holding yourself high. You're holding yourself with dignity. This is a very mature person. This is someone that has a good grasp on their life, on their relationship. You're really setting realistic goals for you and your partner or your love life. Um, financial security is obviously very important to you and success. That's a part of your relationship. That's a part of what you want in relationship. And I also feel that you're being wise with, with relationships. You're being smart. Um, you're using your head in romance in a sense. And if you are in a relationship, Capricorn, you are taking your time, okay? I feel that you are still remaining a strong amount of self-control and self-discipline. So even if you're in one and you feel like, wow, this is really going places, you're still not going to allow it to rock who you are, rock your foundations, rock your sense of self-security. Uh, so, you know, remaining disciplined, remaining level-headed is important for you because you have this kind of higher perspective. You're looking at the long term. So in relationship, it has to fit into that. You're not going to allow your head to get, you know, swirly and to lose sight of what's truly important for you. So others of you, if you're single, you know, it's like you could be alone here, but you're not lonely because you have so much, um, you've built a lot in your life. You have a lot that you're shooting for. You have a lot that you're going for. And so you're fine. You're, you're independent. You're a business person, a business woman, a business man. And I just feel that you really have like a, a strong sense of, you know, what it takes now to be successful. You know, you know, you see that you, your hard work is going to pay off. And then the other thing is, is if you are in a relationship, I feel that, or you're looking for one, I feel that, like I said, you're going to want someone that is going to value the same things you are and is going to prioritize and see the same things as you as important. That's a, an integral part of relationship compatibility for you. You know, it's not as romanticized for you. Like that's not as important, all the frills and, you know, you want someone that's going to have the discipline, that's going to have the ambition and the goals. That's what's more attractive to you. That's what's more an ideal relationship. So very beautiful energy here, Capricorn. And lastly, I just feel that, you know, you're willing to put in the time. You're willing to put in the effort. You maybe made a lot of sacrifices in love and romance, and now your, your efforts are finally starting to pay off. And it's like, yes. So if this is the challenge or the obstacle, um, just on the surface, we could talk about the sign. It could be an air sign in Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. 
Um, so if you're dating, but then the one thing that this can talk about obviously is this is communication. This is a very powerful communicative ideas, mental thoughts, but it's also new ideas. So it's about new plans, um, new ways of thinking. So this could just be a, in a sense of that whoever you're with or in dating that maybe they are challenging you in how you think. Oh. Basically here, what, I, what I'm sensing is that in relationships, you know, you're branching out here in some way. Th this relationship or how you're dating or just how you're even thinking about relationships, um, even though it might be exciting, it's um, enlightening, it can still be a challenge for you. And because you're an earth sign and, you know, you have tried and true ways of doing things, um, maybe this new person, this new partner, or just some type of breakthrough you've had in your own life, uh, you know, it's really stretching your mindset. It's really stretching your thought processes and how you think about relationships, how you interact, even how you communicate. So for others of you, it could literally just be that, that communication with your loved one or your romantic partners is a little strange or or you're just not seeing eye to eye. Maybe you and your partner both have strong mindset, strong um, opinions. And so it's not that you're not compatible, but it's just communicating and trying to understand each other, it has proven to be a little bit difficult. Regardless though, this is also just about you formulating new plans, new ideas. Um, you're seeing, you know, or being challenged to see more than one side, maybe a way that you thought this is the only way, this is the way to do it, this is how it should be. And you're just really trying to embrace or adapt to this new way of thinking, this new way between you and your partner. The other thing that this can talk about is, you know, the Ace of Swords is all logic. It's all logic. It's, it's head. It's not heart. And so some of you might really be infatuated or really in love with someone and you're finding it a struggle to stay logical, to stay clear. You know, this person has maybe swept you off your feet or you're just very intrigued or infatuated and you're trying to really just like I said you want to be practical you want to keep your head above water and just see things as they are and you're really trying not to let your heart rule your head that that could be scary for you you know you want to stay in control but one of the main things I'm getting here Capricorn is if you're in a relationship I feel like there there's two mindsets that you know you both are strong minded you both have a sense of how you view things and your opinions and you know the ace of swords upright is about meeting of the minds like sharing like minded attitudes and so if that's the challenge I feel like that's where there's a little clash, clash of the will, clash of mindset, opinions, and so that could prove to be a little sticky. So obviously we know the number four is about four, I don't know if I had four fingers, <laughs> okay. So we know that the number four is about stability. And so if this is in the reverse, this is the lack of stability or the uprooting of stability. I don't necessarily think this is bad, I feel that some of you are actually moving on in relationships. You're taking it to the next level. And because you're doing this, you're setting out, you're embarking out on your own, maybe separating from the traditional home and family, uh, the traditional way of life that you have always known. And so, yeah, it's exciting because we have a wand. So we have fire, we have excitement, but it's also nerve wracking. It's also, it's stressful. It's scary because you know, as an earth sign, that stability is what you crave. And yet when we need to make changes or have a new situation or break apart from our family or, you know, what we traditionally know, our group of friends, whatever it is, it causes a sense of instability. So the four of wands in the reverse does talk about that, um, you know, instability on the home front. And that could obviously look different ways. So you do see a man and a woman here and you know it's they're looking at each other so it is you breaking away from something something traditional something that once brought you security and safety and comfort and solidity and now it's being turned on its head for others of you this could be insecurity in the relationship because you are not meeting of the minds that you keep kind of going back and forth and having this lack of communication it's causing a little bit of friction. It's causing a little bit of questioning. If this continues to happen for you in this relationship, 
you might be questioning, is it really as solid as I desire it to be? Is there really as strong a foundation as I need there to be? Because if you look back in the beginning here, you need this solidity. You're looking at the long term. And if these this connection is a challenge, you might kind of question. Now, the four of wands in reverse are is also like once the celebration, once that initial glow, you know, that honeymoon phase has worn off, you kind of start seeing the elements of the true relationship. Like what is the real dynamic going on here? So I also feel that some of you are going to be looking at this, that once kind of all the glamour and the infatuation has worn off, does this relationship really have what it takes? So for others, it will kind of, you might be feeling a little insecure. Not that this is not a good relationship, but you know, sometimes relationships have to go through these testing periods. You know, can you guys survive this insecurity or this lack, you know, once all of those feelings have worn off or if there's conflict, how strong is this? And in a way, Capricorn, I think that you will value that in the long term because if it does survive kind of these tests, you're going to know, yes, you know, this is worth fighting for. This is solid. This is something that can stand the test of time. So like I said, for others of you, you're branching off. You know, your relationship is actually, yeah, it may have it, its rocky patches, but you're actually leaving your home, literally your family, your parents, um, you know, not forever, but you're breaking away so that you can, you know, unite with your partner. You guys could be moving or you're thinking about changing a residence, but this does kind of talk about a feeling inwardly of insecurity on the home front or your sense of stability, whatever that looks like for you. But I know Capricorn that you will be victorious. I know that you will fight through anything that you have to go through and you have a beautiful focus of what you are shooting for. So I know that you will be successful. So I really hope Capricorn that this has helped you. If it has, I would so appreciate if you would like and subscribe to the channel. That's going to make sure you get all the messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. Capricorn, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful rest of your day.